Hi, and welcome to this demo about database workbench. I'm going to register a Firebird server and database so we can use them in database workbench. You can start registering a server by clicking the register server button in the toolbar or the welcome window. This will open up the select server type window. Let's select Firebird and start entering registration details. First up is an alias, only to be used in database workbench to display this particular server. In here, I'll enter, the, I'll enter any user description. Next up is the host name, which is either an IP address or the name of a different machine. This may include an optional port number. Here I enter the optional port 3053. The network protocol to be used is TCP IP. And if I want to use a specific client library, I can select it here. If the client library can be found in the Windows path, this isn't required. But for now, I'll, tr I'll enter a Fiber 2.5 client library. There it is. When registering a server, I need to specify a username and password from a Firebird user account. This username and password will be used as a default for additional database registrations. For other functionality, I also need a SysDBA password. For example, uh, managing user accounts. Now, if I use the username SysDBA and enter the password here, the SysDBA password will be filled in automatically. This will suffice for now. When I click OK, an attempt is made to contact the server, and if it's uh, working, the server registration is added to the Enterprise Manager. Next up, register a database at the server. I need to do this in order to use a database in Database Workbench. Again, an alias. This can be any user description. I'll use a Firebird database I created for a Firebird conference in 2008. In here, I need to specify the path to the database. This cannot be a shared resource. It can only be the local path on the machine where the database resides. Because this database is on a remote server, I cannot use the browse button. So I need to enter the path manually. Username and password to take it from the server registration, but once again, I can use any username and password here. I can also let database workbench prompt for a password when I want to connect to this database, if you don't want to save passwords locally. Using this button here, I can retrieve the default character set used in the database and make sure this is the correct character set when connecting. If your database contain special characters, make sure to use the Unicode client. There are additional options available when I click Next, but we'll ignore them for now. If I click Finish, Database Workbench will attempt to connect to this database, and if this succeeds, it will be added to your server registration. Now, I can simply double-click this database to use it inside Database Workbench, and view its structure or edit it. Thank you for watching this demo.